Hello everyone, this is Kianda. I often review air accidents in an effort to see if it aligns with FAA findings. And I like to show a quick animation that I developed to illustrate the sequence of events. Now note that the depictions of an airplane in the still pictures are not always accurate. A simulated outside video of the airplane is included as well as an analog airspeed indicator with digits to enhance the visibility of the primary altitude direction indicator, an airspeed tape display, and an artificial horizon art display. This graphic exhibits the flying mode enunciator display, an analog altimeter, and additional digits for clarity control the yoke position, thrust lever, speed brake lever position, a profile graph, and selected portions from the cockpit voice recorder transcript. Now, after encountering a little bit of turbulence, the crew started the approach procedure at about 6,300 feet in altitude. The autopilot and auto throttles, they subsequently entered the go around mode. There were no flight crew announcements associated with the activation of the go around mode. The aircraft halted its descent, resumed a moderate ascent, and advanced the thrust levers. Generally, the speed brake must be manually retracted. The captain responded to a routine radio communication as the first officer moved the control column forward and said, we're stalling. There were no indications that the aircraft had really stalled. The possibility existed that the first officer suffered disorientation as a result of the somatic graphic illusion in which the acceleration of the airplane caused a false impression of a nose up posture at high speed. The airplane reached a nose down position height of less than 3,000 feet. The plane emerged from the cloud cover. Even with complete nose-up control adjustments, it was too late to prevent crashing into the bay.